Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. Guys, if you have been using Power BI, then you must be knowing calendar table is very important in Power BI, especially when you use a time intelligence functions. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a date table or a calendar table using Power Query Editor. If you are new to this channel, so please make sure to subscribe it and press the bell icon for my upcoming videos. Now I have opened my Power BI desktop. Now let us understand the data first. I have imported a data where we have a four tables, which is sales, product, order and customer. Now let's see a data model first. Here you can see our four tables and sales, sales table is a fact table and order, product and customer. These are dimension tables. So these dimension tables are related to our fact table with one to many relationship. Okay. Now let us understand why we need to create a date table. So here in the sales table, you can see here we have a order, order date. Here you can see a hierarchy like year, quarter, month and day. Now you can do analysis by using this year, quarter, month and day. But what if you want to do a analysis beyond using this year, month, quarter and day. If you want to go for a week, week of day or if you want to work on some fiscal year or any other time intelligence functions that time you need a date table so let's start how to create a date table in a power query editor now i have opened the power query editor here now you can see on the left hand side all the four tables today we are going to create a date table in a power query editor you can also create a date table using dax so i will create a separate video for that okay now the first step for creating a date table is you have to go to this new source and create a blank query so once you click this new source here you can see the last option is a blank query click on that now on the left hand side you can see our query is generated okay now we have to write a code over here so for that you have to go to the advanced editor now new window will open advanced editor you just delete this and here you have to create a list for date so we will write here list dot date okay yeah just click this yes so you remove this list dot dates now you can see here we are uh, we are getting three parameters here start as a date count as number and step as a duration start as a date means you have to give the starting date of your table like in this data set uh, we have a uh, four years from 2015 to 2018 so we have to give the first date of that table okay then second parameter is count as a number means how many days your date table should have okay so suppose uh, we have we are a uh, uh, we have a four year table so we will write is 4 into 365 okay it comes like 1460 so we have to write that number over there okay and the third parameter is a step as a duration means it is how it should be incremented like 1 2 like that so basically it generates a dates accordingly so now we will write all these parameters in this list so first parameter is starting date so our starting date here is First, we will write hash date and our date. So, first write year. So, 2015, 1, 1. So, this should be our starting year. Then, next parameter is a number. So, number we are, uh, we are creating a table for 4 years. So, 4 into 365 is 1460. So, we have to write that 1460. Okay. Then again, comma and third parameters how it should be incremented so it should be incremented day by day so we have to write hash duration and in bracket 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay it will increment day by day okay once this is done you have to click here done now you can see here the list is generated right now let me remain uh, rename this query as a dim date okay as this is a dimension table so dim 
date okay now uh, this is a list now we have to convert this into a table okay so in the transform tab you can see convert to table so select this and click this so this window will come you have to just click ok here now our column is generated here but it's having a data type of uh, alphanumeric we have to convert the data type into a date table so we'll convert a data type to a date okay now it is changed and now we will rename this as well so we'll write a name as a date okay now our base query is ready okay so i will repeat the steps again what we have done the first step is we have created we go we, we go to this new source and we have created the blank query and then we go to a advanced editor here we have create uh, write the code in which we have uh, given the three parameters first parameter was a start date second was the count of a dates and third was how much it should be incremented so after that we got a list then we have converted the, that into a table right and after that we got this column and we have changed the data type of this okay now we are going to create a date table so for that what you have to do either we can go we can duplicate this column like just click the right and here you can duplicate the column okay and then you can convert it into then you just do right click and then again go to the transform and here you can convert and go to the year so it will convert into the year but i will not follow this option i will follow the other option in which what you have to do you have to go to the add column here okay in the add column here you can see here a date is there okay you just click this and here you can see the year so click year now you can see year is generated now next you have to uh, generate a quarter column so for that again what you have to do you just click this column again go to add column here you go to the quarter so quarter of the year now you can see you got the quarter but i want here a name quarter one so what we will do we will select this column go to the column for examples here select from all columns and here i will write what i want so suppose i want it like q t r space one okay i'll i want like this so i will press okay now you can see here we get a column with the with that name so here again i will write a quarter okay this is done then third uh, uh, third column uh, is name column so before that we will remove this one because we don't want this column now so we will remove this okay now next will be our month name so again click this date column and go to the add column and here you go to the name of a month okay now here you can see you got a month name but it's in a full january j a n u a r y but if you want just a three letters g a j a n so for that what you have to do you select this column again and go to extract and here select first characters so if i want first three characters only so i will write count as a three and i will press ok yeah now you can see we got a new column with the first three characters so what i will do i will remove this column now okay and i will rename this as month name okay now next column i want to create is month number so again we'll go to the date i have to select this go to the date and month here month you got a month number okay now next what we have to do we have to uh, we will create for the week so again the select this and go to the date and here we will see 
week of year okay now week of year is created now next is what we are going to create we'll create for a day okay again select this go to this date and here create day so day number is created if you want a day name as well then again we are, what you have to do you have to select this column again go to add column and here you will get name of a day okay now name is created but again if you want just the first three letters again you have to select this and you go to extract and select first three characters okay and press ok yeah so our date table is created in which we have created date column year then here we have to write the quarter okay quarter then month name we have created month number week of year day day name and you have to write here day name okay day name okay and we will delete okay we will delete this we don't want this okay now all the columns are created our date table is ready our calendar table is ready now go to file and do close and apply now here you can see our dim date table is ready okay now what you have to do you have to go to the model view here and you have to build the relationship okay so we will see here this is our dip date okay and we will keep here and we will expand this no no need to expand you have to take this date and drag here on a order date okay you can see here a uh, one to many relationship is created and we have created a star schema here okay in uh, in the center you have a fact table and uh, dimension tables are there around the fact table so our data model is ready now so we have created a date table here now our date table is created but we can see one problem over here with the date table is that here you can see a summation sign before this day month week and year so when whenever we will create a line chart here you will see a sum of days sum of month sum of week or sum of year so to remove this summation sign what we have to do you have to, to go to the model view here and just select this okay column and go to the advanced function so yeah this is the advanced function and in, in advanced function you go summarize by here you can see a sum so you select this and go to none okay now you can see the summation sign has gone same do for the month select this column then go to summarize by none okay same for the week of year summarize by none and same for year summarize by none now you can see all the summation signs are gone now you can see in the report view we are not getting any summation sign okay the next important thing here we have to do is we have to sort this month name in a right order okay so uh, if we create a chart here it will not come as january february it will come a random month so to sort it in a right way what you have to do you have to go again to the model view here select this month name column and here sort by column month name is a default so here you have to sort with a month month number okay so now it will show a correct order to us right now this is done now last and important thing we have to do here is you have to tell power bi that this custom dim date table is our date table so for that what you have to do you just select this table go to the table tools and here you can see mark as a date table you just select this 
and here you just select date and click OK and now your date table is ready. Now you can create a visualization using this custom date table. Hope you understood how to create a date table in a Power Query Editor. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.